What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft mod pack download. Today we're going to be looking at Expansion Plus. I think this one you guys are going to really love because it is insanely awesome guys. So let's go ahead and look at some of the cool stuff that they already had. So uh, this was made by JEBR Gaming. If you guys want to check out his Twitter, link will be in the description as well as the link to get this add-on uh, over on his website. So make sure you guys go check that out. He's going to be having a guide for all the crafting and everything that you're going to need. To get started with this but I'm gonna show you some basic stuff as well as what's added so far and definitely let me know if you guys like this tell him as well because this one is an insanely awesome original mod pack and I think it's just really good so it adds in over 200 new blocks a hundred new items and a hundred new entities let's go ahead and check these out uh, so almost everything is completely kind of like in a vanilla theme but with more stuff so we have like spruce wood bookshelves we have yellow ice we have cracked granite bricks you can also make in gold bar fences uh there's just so much stuff guys this is gonna be insane there's totally some cool colored candles <laughs> that is insane actually you know what hold on did these emit different colors i kind of want to test that out real quick let me see is it purple i don't know let's do time set night now it's still the same oh that would have been really cool if it gave that color effect Oh, okay, let's go time set day. All right, so let's look at some of the cool stuff. All right, so the first thing is uh, you could create some of this stuff. I'm just going to go over some of it. So you can take these iron ingots to create um, chain mail. So you can actually get chain mail uh, armor now. So you'll create these to get a chain link. And when you have a bunch of chain links, you'll put them in a crafting table, you know, just like you would craft a helmet, but with these chain links to get chain armor, which is pretty neat. Now, also, the other thing is a flint lock pistol, which you uh, can get a loaded one, which you could shoot when you click it. Uh, you only get one bullet, and then you have to reload it, which will display an empty, which you need gunpowder to load it back up. Now, where you find these are these large pirate ships with pirate people and parrots and stuff. It's so cool. <laughs> Look at this. So these spawn inside of, you know, water and stuff like that. Oceans. And they could be found as one of the loots here. So this is something that makes you want to kind of go and start exploring, which is so cool. Look at this. Let me come over here. Oh, we got even cool new apples. We got rotten apple and green apples. That's neat. I want to see if there's actually a flintlock inside of this one that spawned. Let me just kind of look around at some of the stuff. Uh, there's a chance that it does. Whoa, cool bird. <laughs> I don't know if it spawned in this one, but this is where they will spawn. Uh, so whenever you're exploring around, guys, come and find these ships because you have a chance to get... Oh, did I look in here? There it is. And it comes with ammo. Yay! And custom cool new music. I don't know if it's copyright, so I'm not going to play it, but you can play the custom new music. I'll let you guys explore that as well. So pretty much... Look, oh, look at that. It's spruce wood. Yeah. So yeah, you find these pirate ships, you're already starting off in a good start. That's pretty neat for Expansion Plus, you know. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of keen to its original name expansion plus and that will pretty much mean just ex you know explore guys it's an exploration like mod pack add-on thing and i definitely want you guys to go check it out there's so much stuff there's like cool cave generations there's so much really cool things that i think you guys would really really enjoy as long as with some uh new ores everybody's been wanting some ores guys so this one adds in a ton of new ones so let's just go to uh, give at the player ore, uh, which we have uh, we have sulfur ore, sapphire ore, salt ore, ruby. We also have amethyst, and there's a lot of cool nether sided ore. So you could get like gold nether ore and stuff. Uh, there's end emerald ores, which is pretty neat. So when you go to those dimensions, you can actually get those kind of uh, variants of ores. Also, the amethyst here is um, you could get like amethyst swords and everything so i'm just going to give myself a few of these real quick let me just move these over here just like so i'm gonna take some amethyst two amethyst and a stick and yeah you could craft a let me grab another amethyst right there throw it down i'll we'll get another one <laughs> let me grab it so if you take two of these just like a regular sword you could create an amethyst sword which has the damage values uh, and awesome attack power so let me just switch. douche Douche, two of those, two hits from, three hits, two hits, yeah, oh my gosh, this is so strong. I think that does more than a diamond sword, honestly, uh, but 
you could craft those, which is pretty cool, the amethyst. And, uh, yeah, they also introduce hammers. So hammers, this is how you would craft it with any ore. So diamonds would be where these amethysts are with the sticks like that. Uh, to create this diamond or emerald or amethyst hammer, you can also do gold and, stu and uh, stuff like that, you know, uh, iron. Uh, and what this is used for is to create, um, actually, I think it's uh, this one. I could be wrong. So if you take this and you put it inside of here, it might be the rough. Yeah, the rough, you could get amethyst powder, which then you can use amethyst powder, you know, and uh, same with copper and diamonds. You get these uh, powder and dust formats, which you can then get a rough format. And then you take the rough one uh, with the chisel here, put it inside of a crafting table. And that's how you would get your amethyst itself, which is pretty neat. I really like that. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, to create the chisel, you just need an iron and a stick to create those. So you just put that in there like this. Uh, and you can create a chisel. And then, yeah, you could just, that's how you would make those. So if I give myself a diamond, let me just try that. Oh, I could just, I'm in creative, actually. So let me just go to, oh, I have some diamonds already. So there we go. Boom. All right, so let's take this diamond, and I'm just going to show you. So give me this. Uh... Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so I'm going to use this diamond, and I'm going to put it with... Um, the hammer here. Oh, I think I broke it. <laughs> I think I broke it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so uh, you take that and then you would take this with a chisel or you would take it with a, um, I think it's a hammer on the side of the diamond powder, which then you would get a rough format, which is mainly for right now. He's still going to update it and stuff, guys, but for now it's going to be awesome. So you get the rough one and then you can create with a chisel all of the original ores itself which is pretty neat uh, actually I think uh, give at P diamond I think there's a, a rough diamond too yeah there is a rough diamond uh, let's do rough let's see all the new ones so we have rough rubies uh, sapphire redstone emerald and diamond and amethyst so let me give myself a diamond let's put that in here uh, and then a chisel yep and that's how we get the diamond that is so cool. I like that so much. That's so awesome. <laughs> but yeah, you guys could go and explore around. There's so much cool stuff inside of caves and everything else, guys. I, I, you know, he's done such an awesome job. I really recommend you guys download this. Give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. I, because this is insane. I haven't even shown you guys the new custom entities. I was gonna try and see if I could have some spawn. Oh, look, there's already an ore. So yeah, they do spawn within your world. So make sure you guys go check that out as well. Rose quartz. Oh, what is that? Whoa, salt. <laughs> okay, so I want to show you guys some of the mobs real quick. And then that will pretty much be it for this video. Uh, let's go ahead and just get rid of these. I really want to show you guys some of this. Okay, so look at this. <laughs> we have force fields. We have uh, teleporters. You could also get like a barrier block and the portals. That's cool. Uh, we have, ooh, a cave scorpion. Yeah, there's some cave generations too in here, guys. Check that out. Ooh, the buffalo. I don't know. Let's see if we could get, um, yeah, they got NPCs. Uh, let's go ahead and try and get something like more of an, an evil kind of style or, you know, like a, something you would have to fight off. Let's see. Uh, Red River Hog. Oh, I kind of want to see that. We got wasps. Oh, that's cool. Let's see. We got the zoo shroom. Oh, what is that? Swan, pillager. Okay. So yeah, there was getting back. I know there was an ender, another ender kind of. Entity, I don't know where it went. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Let's go. Ender. There he is. Ender skeleton. So let's check out some of these. So let's start with Ender skeleton. Oh, he looks so cool. He's got a crossbow too. Let's put you over here. Did do you just give me an Ender bone? What did you give me? Oh no, you gave me arrows. Okay, so let's check him out. Oh, he's so cool. <laughs> okay, so we got. Oh, whoa, a Zushroom. What do you drop? Nothing. Oh. Okay, so let's check out the hog here. Or what is this? Oh, whoa, what? What? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so the hog. Whoa, he looks cool too. Okay, and let's do the buffalo. He's so big. <laughs> cave scorpion. Is there a big cave scorpion? Because that would be kind of scary. All right, so the teleporters. I know if you have the teleporters and you give yourself... Um, from the original beta version that you guys were able to download a long time ago, Nether Stars. Let's take that. And you would activate them, I think, like that. 
You're supposed to be able to activate them. Drop. Drop it. Crouch. Oh, I don't remember how you activate it. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> he'll, he'll tell you all that stuff. I don't remember how you activate it. But here's the force field. That's so cool. It gives you resistance when you're in it. I kind of want to know how you do that now. Huh. I'm pretty sure it's a nether star, but I could be wrong, guys. I could be wrong. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. If you did enjoy, let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one. I'm Daycom Black Rose, and I'm out. Bye!